bueno, qué cosita tan mona. ¡Oh! No volveré a tener miedo. Si no tienes miedo, es que no estás vivo. I would say it's one of the bigger challenges. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's been a movie that actually started over from scratch like we did. Yeah. Uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone with the show the script. Uh, so we did this movie in a, a pretty short amount of time. Um, typically at Pixar, we spend about 12 to 18 weeks to do a screening. We screen the movie in 12 to 18 weeks. And on this film, we screen it every six weeks. And that really is a big challenge for the story and the editorial departments just to put the movie up. You know, you have to record all the voices, sound effects, music. So uh, Pete and the story team worked really, really hard, along with our writer, Meg yeah. Lafoe. Yeah. Understanding what the heart of it would be was the first step. Um, uh, when we, when uh, it was first pitched, it was the idea of that boy and dog story, but flipping that concept. But then it became other things. It started to grow into all these different ways that started to become too complicated. And so when uh, we, we started, it was just like taking everything out except this one heart, knowing that it was going to be about this relationship, about a boy becoming a man. And then once we kept that, it was about trying to tell that story in a, in a, in a way that was truthful. And uh, from there, then knowing, for me, I, uh, watching other dinosaur movies, they always end with kind of a, a, a big battle between these two animals and how do you find a way to uh, make it emotional, right? And so how do you, you know, um, um, how do you do that? And so um, nature became a major force in this film and uh, we got inspired by movies that show things like that, like uh, The Black Stallion. I don't, I'm not sure I know it in, in Spanish at the time of the time you say that movie, but it was a movie that was presented very honestly and, and uh, beautifully. And so we wanted to try to find a tone like that where you could res respect nature by showcasing it in a way that was alive and breathing and so Arlo, this young boy being thrust out there, he would be scared at first, but then slowly get comfortable with nature and himself and try to have that all kind of support each other in a way that was uh, emotional. Yeah, I mean, it was important that, um, that nature, I mean, because it, it is a survival thing, so it needs to feel like a real, nature needs to feel like a real threat. So one of the, the decisions that we made is that The, the look of nature had to be believable. Because, um, uh, you know, a stylized, caricatured nature, it just would not feel like uh, uh, scary or threatening. So, um, and at the same time, the character needs to feel like a young boy. Or he needs to feel like he is a stranger in strange, strange land and will not survive out there. Because, as you said, I keep saying, You know, if he's a, if he looks like a real dinosaur, it just it just really wouldn't work. Yeah. Um, our story is a very simple one, and it's a really classic archetypal story. And so, there are many stories like this. Uh, you know, uh, Bambi, the kind of maturity story. So that these are simple themes that uh, have a lot of deep-rooted emotion in them. And so, that was something that really excited us when we first started this story. Was the idea that could we do something? as simple and classic as this, uh, but at the same time there are dangers to it because uh, John Lasseter would say um, there's no place to hide with a story that's simple. And so when we, when we first started trying to do that, it was all about, okay, we know that this is going to be a simple story, but that will allow the characters to breathe and the world to become something that we have never seen before. And so in doing that, yeah, there are um, 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 moments that I feel like can uh, echo other films, but that's all in its trying to trying to create something that was universal and really classic at the same time. I, I've, I've never seen it as competition. Um, I've been at Pixar for 15 years and I've worked with so many of the people on at the studio and so it's always been a family for me. And so it's like our brothers and sisters have made a great movie and uh, you know we tried our best to make something that they could be proud of as well. Uh, but at the same time, you know, Inside Out affected me so much. I have a daughter, and so it's just like I could talk to her in about new ways, and so it's just a big family, to be honest. You know? well, yeah, we're so proud that we work at a studio. I mean, they're such different movies, I would say. Yeah. And I, I'm just excited that we're kind of we work at a place that's willing to take these kinds of creative risks, 
And um, I mean, I Jonas and Pete Doctor hired me. Jonas was there and Pete uh, hired me on up. So they're they're my friends, and I'm excited for them, and I'm excited for the studio. And uh, competition's a good thing. <laughs>